I'll be doing a reggae beat deconstruction and I'll also be showing you some simple tricks and tips you can use to make your reggae beats to sound better and richer. If you're not good at making reggae drums just like me, you can always use a shortcut and by shortcut I mean FPC. I went to my presets and I went to reggae loops, reggae, reggae and then I picked the first one. So I picked that simple loop from FPC and then I guess I'm done with my drums. The next thing I have here is my bass. This right here is a popular bass line from one of the popular reggae songs. I don't really know the names of most of those reggae songs but I enjoy them a lot and I know this bass line is one of the popular bass lines from one of those reggae songs. So I use this simple bass line. Now this is one of the secrets of um, reggae beats in the cording or the vamping. What actually happens is that the right hand is playing like this and in between all those times the right hand is hitting the left one is coming so the vamping is kind of complete let me play it so you can understand what i mean and just look at my hand as it's playing so my right hand is the e piano and my left hand is the organ so this is the e piano with metronome Meanwhile, the organ will be playing like um, a lower chord inversion version of what the piano is playing. That is, the organ will be playing an inverted version of what the piano is playing. It's like this. That's for the organ. And then the piano is playing like this. So the piano is playing the higher notes and then the organ is playing the lower notes, a different chord inversion. So now I add my drums, remove my metronome. And then my bass. So this is the bass, the chords, and the drum. And there you have it. You have your simple reggae beat is ready to go, basically. So um, anything you add after now is a bonus. What you have now is already a pass mark for reggae. If I were allowed to score myself, I would give myself 6 over 10 for a reggae beat, a decent reggae beat. So anything you add from now is just to um, make it better. I have this flute I added at the beginning. Of course, I reduced the volume like a lot and put reverb like a lot so that it will not sound like it's there. But you can hear it, but you cannot really hear what is playing, but it's like a background sound. What is a reggae beat without some insane drum rolls? So we have insane drum roll number one. Actually, I shouldn't have called it number one because it's the only one. I also made that with FPC, but I didn't steal this one. I made this one myself. You simply just open your FPC and you see here, you see the names of the drums. You see all the drums here. See your open hi-hat. So you can um, 
draw the notes one by one till you get your drum roll and dice if you don't have a midi keyboard or a midi controller like me for example all my keyboards are bad so a draw move delete draw listen if it's not on time or it's too late or too early i delete and adjust so um like fpc makes that very easy for you you can just adjust your drums pull it forward pull it backward and it puts all the instruments here for you so um they are like in one place it's easier for you to make your drum roll than making your drum roll on your channel rack this actually makes it easy then i had this um guitar that i added um chorus added distortion added decay added glass effects all those things are actually distortion terms to kind of make the guitar sound like um, an overdrive guitar with like distortion effects i don't know why i wanted that but it sounds really psycho <laughs> told you it was going to be mind-blowing this is the guitar without all the things i added and then for more melody i added this organ Finally, there is something I noticed with reggae music, especially in Nigeria. They use a lot of pitch bend. Like pitch bend is very important in reggae music, at least for Nigeria where I live. So I didn't have a keyboard to do all that. So I used this, my own manual local method to slide the notes to try and create the best pitch bend impression I could create. So this is it. So basically that's how you make a reggae beat you have your simple drums you have your crazy um, drum roll crazy complex drum roll and then you have your melody that's your chords your e piano on your right hand that is the higher octave and then your organ on the lower octave they work together it's supposed to be like one sound but it's actually two different instruments they use mostly they use the organ on the left hand and they use the e piano on the right hand and then you have your bass line your bass line should be crazy like go crazy with your bass line not like what i did here like you should really go crazy with your bass line and then if you want it to sound like nigerian type of reggae music like nigerian gospel type of reggae you need to put those pitch bend sounds inside there so if you have a um, if you have a keyboard that has a pitch bend like you can use it very well if you're a keyboardist that will be easy for you so just use it a lot then um, some reggae songs they have the electric guitar so you can do some of that also so basically that's how um to make a simple reggae beat simple like simple not strictly simple reggae beats so thanks for watching my channel today my name is poj beats don't forget to subscribe and like and share and leave a nice comment.